Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Magnolia Bakery recently released their famous banana pudding. And if you've never tried their famous banana pudding, you can actually make it at home now because they recently released their banana pudding recipe. So please stay tuned. You will need vanilla wafers, jello vanilla instant pudding, condensed milk, bananas, ice cold water, which I put in the freezer for 20 minutes, heavy whipping cream. I found Magnolia Bakery's banana pudding recipe on their Instagram, which I would list down below. So what you wanna do is take your sweetened condensed milk, open it up, and this recipe is so easy. I can't believe that they just gave it to us for free. You want to just mix it with the ice cold water. I'm not really sure why it needs to be ice cold water, or well, just very cold water. So that's why I put it in the freezer for 20 minutes. And then you mix it. And don't make the rookie mistake I made. I switched out my measuring cup into a bigger bowl and I mixed the two for about one minute. That's what the recipe said. Just to mix the cold water with the condensed milk for one minute. Then add in your vanilla instant pudding and the recipe did specifically say use the Jell-O brand. Add in the Jell-O vanilla instant pudding to your condensed milk and cold water. Continue to mix for about one minute. And they did use a stand mixer, but I didn't want to take it out. So I just used a regular whisk and I transferred back to my measuring cup, covered it and put it in the fridge for about four hours. Once your vanilla pudding has thickened up, you're gonna make the whipped cream. And I'm using three cups of the heavy whipping cream. And you start it off with your stand mixer at low and then you increase it to high until you get stiff peaks. This took me about five minutes to make sure it got to this consistency. Then you wanna take your instant pudding that we have put in the fridge for four hours and you mix it in with the whipped cream. You just mix it on low so then you don't take all the air volume that you worked so hard to develop the stiff peaks in your whipped cream. And when I got to that, the last bit of the instant cream, I just took it out and then I just folded it in instead. All you have left to do is to assemble. Now I didn't use a nine by 13, I used two trays because I want to give one away. You have your vanilla wafers and your bananas and all we have to do is start to assemble. Take your vanilla pudding and put it to the bottom of your tray and just spread it out. And then you wanna add in your vanilla wafers. You can do it messy, you can do it very neatly, it's up to you. Add in your bananas. And this is the part where it's fun, where you can put more bananas if you like, put more vanilla wafers if you like, and then just continue with the pudding again, and then add in the wafers, and then continue to add on the bananas. And then the last layer will be your vanilla pudding again. And with this small tray, I only did two layers. Then you can crumble some of the vanilla wafers on top, decorate however you want. And then what you wanna do is make sure you put a cover on top, then put it in the fridge for overnight. The recipe did say for at least 12 hours. So the small tray is for my sister and then I did the remaining in a bread pan and I ended up getting four layers instead. Now you don't have to do two trays. I just did because I wanted to give one away to my sister and the bread pan gave me four layers. So it is a lot that this recipe will make. And I just crumbled in some vanilla wafers on top again and I covered it and put it in the fridge for overnight. I couldn't wait for the next day, but I did. And this is how it turned out. Magnolia's banana pudding was amazing. I'm so glad that they released their recipe because the first time I had this, I was in New York. And now I can have it at home. Bye guys. Bye.